Eyewitness News Nightbeat starts now. I heard the tire screeching, and I, before I looked back, it was already, the, the damage has already been done. A late afternoon chase and crash involving five vehicles as Indianapolis police ran down a possible drug trafficker. We tracked the chase through the INDOT traffic camera network until it ended near downtown. Rush hour traffic was backed up for miles this evening, starting near the intersection of I-70 and Keystone Avenue. Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally tells us what eyewitnesses say about the chaos and why police say the suspect may have been running away. Police say the pursuit that ended up there on I-70 is part of a continuing effort by multiple agencies to try to stop the drug flow through the crossroads of America. The foot chase, officers running down a suspect across I-70. Give me a canine and a helicopter. Then police taking the man down outside a business off I-70 in Keystone. This video from a viewer with nobody hurt. Police say the man ran after wrecking his silver SUV in the westbound lanes, sparking this five-car chain reaction crash. Two people hurt, one trapped in his black car. Injuries not life-threatening. If somebody skidded out of control and it looked like they hit a bunch of cars. Frank Elliott was not hurt, but his car was banged up. I saw his silver car just came plowing into all of us. That driver was on the phone with her husband, telling him about the wrong way police chase that she'd just seen a few miles back. When suddenly everything and all of a sudden I heard this big crash and that was that was it right there. I mean, she was telling me they hit her car and cops are everywhere. IMPD says one of its drug interdiction units spotted the suspicious car near post. It would not pull over. Instead, wrong way, the SUV finally spun around and headed west, then racked up near Keystone. What do you think as you're hearing that car crashing on the phone? You're devastated. Can't believe what think people get by with. Police chased the suspect down a hill through trees and weeds to a business where the runner tried to get in. The police got him. Our suspect made indications that he was on parole out of California and that any further arrest would cause him to go back to prison potentially for life. So he was a little worried about that. Police say they found drugs and but a sizable amount of uh, money that we believe was headed from the east headed back to the west coast in this vehicle that was narcotics related. I was scary. It's my first time ever being anything that I haven't driven just off from. Police say they expect to release the suspect's name and his picture after he's formally charged, which is probably going to be on Wednesday. There are some families home with family members who are sore but also feeling very fortunate. Back to you. All right. Thank you. David McAnally reporting tonight. And IMPD will review this chase to make sure it conformed with department policy.